all right guys <clears throat> now the grafana thing right so something we kind of stopped out in the previous video okay we said that we are going to look at the grafana and many more of that now there's one comp see let's try to understand in the previous video we saw elk and then you had uh, El um kibana okay and then you had uh, what else uh, log stash okay so what did log stash do it was data was getting aggregated elk was indexing and kibana was displaying it now in a similar way you have grafana i i don't know why yeah that, that's the name okay so first uh, first let, let let us bring this all the servers up okay that's the first thing that i want i want to do that okay so just let me paste it that's your elastic and wow seems a little bit uh, that's your elastic i don't know <laughs> yeah yeah should not be saying that okay then you log stash um if yeah log stash i thought i don't think you are indexing anything at this moment uh, though but still uh, mm -hmm. We, we will see about log stash kibana i don't want to bring anything at this moment as well but i'll keep the log stash for a moment okay uh, because i need that for some information okay so let me bring the command prompt okay there you go cd go to this and let me keep that right away and then instead of kibana this time i'm going to say grafana i really don't like that word Grafana, I don't know. Yeah. So it is what it is, guys. <clears throat> okay. Um, let let me bring this server up. Okay. So it's up. So um, if you remember again, I I keep forgetting. At least if you remember, what's the port? What's the port of Grafana? Uh, let's try to look at that. Yeah, I don't have anything over here. So just let me bring up the Grafana configurations. And here the default port is three thousand, yeah, three thousand. So I'll go back to this guy. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of things, guys. We have to talk about it. So local host three thousand. Okay, and it would be admin admin one two three hash. It. That's it. Yeah, we have logged in. Now remember, um. that uh, kibana is used for gra for graphical purpose right so here grafana is something like that now what i'm going to do is that here go to this page and uh, dashboards not dashboards where are you uh, there should be an option called data source as the name itself saying that tell me the source of your data tell me the source of your data that's what it means data source and it sources as you can see it's showing sources okay by default it's saying prometheus now again it's like what the hell am i looking at now this makes more easy when you understand add a new data source and see this elk elastic now what did you understand see i can add a data source for this grafana thing okay when you say word the grafana you feel like that you're kind of you're kind of uh, uh, shouting on someone with a very abusive language. That's what hey hey you Grafana. I don't know why I feel like that. Anyways, <laughs> so having said that, now what did we understand? Let, let's go back to our diagram. Kibana and Grafana, G R A. Okay. Now you have log stash. Then you have E L K. Yeah. So here you was an application. So, so far in our example, we are using Logstash itself as a medium of application, right? We were creating the configuration file. Ideally, what should happen is that Logstash should point to one of the log logs directory and then pick up the collect the data. Okay, so app will generate logs. App will generate logs. Logstash will Logstash will pick it up uh, as a data aggregator. ELK will be using as an indexing and storaging and this is where we are configured to oops i don't know why i went like that this is where we are configured to kibana which means kibana was listening to elk in the similar way 
Grafana would be listening to ELK. So two different, two different modes, but the concept remains the same. That's the reason you're seeing as elastic search. Let's add it. Okay, let's add it. Now can you see this elastic elastic search? Um, and here I'm going to definitely give one name 19200. Uh, I'll say ELK 9200. Um, then it's asking for the host. So that's 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 the default one. If you remember, um, local host 9200. Nine, sorry, uh, 9200. And the password is this one. You remember this, right? Elastic password we which we've been seeing from a long time. Yeah, elastic. Tada. There you go. It's working still fine. We have no issue. So let's take this as it is and paste it. Next authentication guys. Yes, it has to be a basic authentication. It's happening, right? So that's the elastic password. Oops, where are you? This is the password. Copy it. Username is elastic. And then uh, skip TLS. Anyways, we don't have TLS settings though. Um, index name, right? So can you see this? It's asking for an index name guys, indexing name. Where did you just see this? You just saw that in the, um, Kibana, right? Uh, let, let, let's go back to this guy. So if I say, um, lo local host five, six, zero one, it should be five, six, zero one, I guess. Yeah. Or is it five, zero six one? It's, uh, it's 5601 that's kibana I've, I've not picked up kibana yet so okay i have not started kibana i'm sorry kibana is down that's the reason i was not able to bring it up but you remember in the previous video we had indexed it and where was that index coming from the log stash remember uh, we had indexed it right that's what it's asking okay uh, what what do i need to index it okay um if i go back to this guy where are you uh, log stash and then uh, under the configuration, um, let me take, I don't know, name.csv. Uh, let me say input output. No, this doesn't have any indexing. Console output, this is demo. Yeah, let's take this. Let's see. This is the indexing I'm going to give and I'm going to paste it. Okay, let's see what happens. Pattern, no pattern, field based on timestamp and logs that's that's all okay uh, add links to existing field that's all still okay save and test see data sources connected successfully save and test that's cool and then by which your data source has been built now if i just click on explore mm, do i have any logs in the, see there are certain logs that was populated see certain logs that have been actually populated and you can see this log see yeah and if you remember what was the logs this was the, the output was console output dot cnf so now it's time as i said that's the reason i said let's go to log stash now log stash dot bat i'm going to supply the configuration see this okay slash console output right this is the one okay copy this paste it okay and i'll go to the grafana at uh, this moment the time window is 7 21 pm see the 7 21 so you should have somewhere over here the logs now in the grafana okay at this moment this should be empty just let me see if i can scroll to the right is there a possibility okay um yeah um just, I don't know how do I scroll this out. Yeah, I'm, I'm even, I'm pretty much new to this Grafana thing, guys. I mean, like, I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, this, this is a bit difficult for me as well to figure it out. Give me a moment, guys. Yeah, I think in here, if you can see this above, above this guy, I think this guy here, I can say last five minutes. Oh God, thanks. So this is on run query. There's nothing else. Okay. This is the one. Now here, see this. What happened now? What happened? It says that, oh, I forgot to pass minus F. F, that's the thing. Yeah, I just forgot to pass minus F. 
so let let the let it take the input and then see what happens okay i just want to see what happens guys remember at this moment kibana is down kibana is down we have not started up only grafana is up so the elastic search is still working on it is still trying to index and store the data so yeah and here i'm just going to send some messages is it ready i'm just saying is it ready question mark okay it has sent so ideally now in the grafana you should see it see this aha can you see this the value has been successfully populated and see this is demo this is indexing is it ready cool so that's how you connect to your grafana right so you have connected to kibana now you have connected to grafana through this elk now if i go back again uh, where is your data source add your first data source we added the data source guys so data source here and then this is your indexing that's what i've done so we can actually change this to uh, name if you want you can give it as this dot demo itself indexing up to you and that, that that's what it is okay this this is the one that we are indexing or we can how about if i say star dot star i don't know whether this would work or not um, yeah this should actually work but anyways let's check it now with that being said now what happens is that in grafana one of the agents that they prefer is to use their own in house which is as you can see loki and prompted loki and prompted okay it's like in house grafana kind of says that please use what we have created loki and prompted now if you want to compare loki and prompted something similar to this uh, it's like uh, okay what what you have elk you have elk and you have log stash okay and i believe if you want this elk would be your prompted and loki log would be your loki kind of thing okay so somewhere i kept the documentation yeah see there you go loki canary is a stand alone app that audits the log capturing performance of grafana loki cluster loki canary generates this is canary by the way artificial log lines the log lines are sent to loki cluster okay um uh, sent to loki cluster and then obviously from here you should have okay uh prompt tail see an agent an agent that's connecting to loki and from there the uh, the overall setup would be sent to your grafana uh, grafana would be listening to it um there is not much actual proper definition where it talks about it um okay just let me check a uh, loki is logging engine yeah this is more than enough loki is logging engine prompt tail sends the logs to loki okay which means is other way around okay in our case remember elastic search is indexing and storing the data okay and uh, log stash is data aggregating and processing the data whereas here loki is the logging engine logging engine and prompt tail sends logs to loki right sends logs to loki so you have to kind of correlate that with your log stash and elk okay and once these two engines are set up your kibana no sorry grafana will be listening to them which means ideally once the prompt tail sends the logs to loki grafana would be listening to your loki to get the logs that's all it means so those are working grafana this is what you have to offer okay with that yeah this is a short video on how we connected elk log stash to grafana and let's see what else we can learn in the next video until then take care and have a great learning see ya